to make the most of the square footage in our homes. And one way to do that is with creative, multi-purpose design solutions. We've got some clever ideas for your home on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project, I'm Elena Capra. Today's design ideas will have you looking at the functionality of some rooms in your home a little bit differently. What I love most about multi-purpose design solutions is that it allows you to bring new life into some rarely used areas of the home. Today, we'll look at dual-purpose furniture solutions, multifunctional design ideas for the outdoors, convertible spaces, and much more. So when it comes to maximizing the square footage in your home, it's always best to think about, are there certain rooms that can have dual purpose? So another option we've seen is a dining room table that converts to a pool table. Often people want to add a pool table to the home, but a billiards table takes up a lot of space and also requires a lot of clearance, a minimum of four feet around each side. What room has that space? Usually a dining room. Having that convertible pool table to dining table is an amazing choice. And there are so many stylish and great options that can match any home decor. There are so many options when it comes to furniture that is convertible and really gives that dual purpose to any area of your home. And here are some great ideas. One other thing that I wanna talk about is the entryway. The personalization starts right from the very entryway in your condo because when you walk in, you are greeted by this gorgeous turquoise color on the walls and some more spectacular art pieces. Are those also from your own personal collection or, or your own artwork itself? Yes, they are. I love that. And then you also personalize with some more books and some sculptures and fun pieces as well. Yes, okay. some of the sculptures are from um, famous street artists. Well, you definitely have captured the essence of South Florida and great colors, but also great storage. You did some really unique things in the entryway. You know, sometimes hallways are completely misuse the space or a space that is only for entering. Sometimes you can't even fit um, a sort of mudroom. And in this case, we fit a washer, a dryer. They are on the smaller side, but they are so necessary in every household. So that was a great way to have them be accessible and perfectly concealed. It doubles as furniture. You brought in gold accents on the hardware to bring in that gold throughout. And it's a perfect table in the foyer to put your bag, keys, whatever you need to do. And doesn't make you realize that you're literally walking in through a laundry room. Right, I love that. You've concealed and personalized and stylized the entryway. So I love the way that this sort of bar area is set up, because this could easily be a dining table, but you kind of, it's sort of dual use. Would you say that adding that bar element to a space is very important nowadays in that living area? Absolutely, it's a, it's a social center. You know? Yes. It's uh, where everyone will congregate, it's where everyone will make the drinks, usually music playing and everything. It's, it's where a nice you way to round out the room. And Absolutely. I love the way it's on the dining table and of course the table base, we talked about organic elements. Right there, another way to sort of bring in that warmth of woods. Absolutely. As well. When it comes to entertaining spaces, we had just seen a larger area where you use the dining table to kind of create this big bar. But sometimes we don't have a lot of space for a bar or don't necessarily want to see it. So to solve that problem, we had a, a product. This is a Pietra box. So it's beautiful. I also just want to point out the hardware is very cool. We talked about the natural elements. Of course. What so a you, great handle. Like so before you, you even know that outside, this might be a bar. Marble really on the outside with detail. the natural wood. So this opens up, and wow, this is a stunning piece. I mean, the interior is upholstered. Right, where we've been putting these mostly is in the masters because, for example, it has three outlets in the back. Nice. So a lot of people use it for a coffee station. Also, we have the refrigerated drawers and cool. the other smaller drawers, which are for uh, cups and other things, oh, are lined that. with suede. Yeah. Such a nice touch. That really elevates it. This is also like something you might find in a beautiful resort, in your room, having this great piece that looks like furniture, but actually is a bar. Coming up, we have multifunctional design ideas for the outdoors on SoFlo Home Project. 
Hey, Mike Martinez from USA Windows and Doors. Have you ever wanted to change your sliding glass door to a French door? We're going to show you how we do it coming up next on SoFlow Home Project. Welcome back to SoFlow Home Project. I'm Alina Capra and we are continuing to share ways to maximize the square footage in your home by giving rooms dual purpose. So before the break, we had talked about the inside area of the home, but what happens when it comes to the outdoors? How do you possibly combine things to make it dual purpose? What would an outdoor kitchen be without great appliances? Yes. Right? And I really want to share with viewers some of the, the latest and greatest and you know, outdoor spaces are all about entertaining, right? Exactly. And this looks like a great entertaining cart. This is like a mobile fridge, beverage center. I see that. We got wine and beverage, right? Exactly. So it's a two zone. Two zone. You have a storage here, drawer. Very nice. And door. Wow. And you can put here on top, you can put ice and you can uh, move it and throw away the water that came. So it's like a perfect mobile uh, party bar. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you can move through the space. If you have, for example, a dining area, you can roll move the spread the in place. Okay. Now we've got a lot of other great appliances behind you. I mean, this looks like a rotisserie. We have this amazing Argentina grill, all made in stainless steel. Wow. It works with charcoal. You can just place it at the level that you want to cook the, the meat. It has an oven, so wow. you, you can uh, cook any meat with the same heat from the grill. Now we've got something exciting to share with you guys because this is one of the biggest trends in indoor, now outdoor kitchens. Exactly. Cooking okay. on the countertops. Yes. So this is porcelain slab. Yes, this is a porcelain slab. And this is just to indicate where the burners are, but you can remove it and place your pan. It has to be an induction pan. So just like induction in the traditional indoor kitchen, exactly. it's not going to be super hot to the touch. I mean, isn't that an amazing way to make your outdoor kitchen almost like an in-home restaurant, right? But we have not forgotten about the other areas of your outdoor spaces. And one of the areas that you would not think has dual purpose in the outdoor area of a home is the driveway. And we are gonna show you one incredible driveway. But before we do that, we are gonna check in with Mike Martinez from USA Windows and Doors and see what advice he has for us today. Hey, Mike Martinez here from USA Windows and Doors. We're at a home in South Florida where the homeowner wanted to upgrade their home. We're gonna focus on the back of their house though because they're talking about changing their sliding glass door to a French door. So here we're in the back of the house and as most houses in the back, we have a sliding glass door. This particular homeowner wanted to convert the sliding glass door because they wanted to open the space up more. Our doors are beautiful, they're safe. They, they'll protect you from theft, hurricane, anything that's thrown at them. But the problem with a sliding glass door is that it's limited to the space that you can walk through. As you can see, you're using half this opening. We're gonna switch over to a beautiful French door here and now the entire opening, when both doors are open, will give the ability to move some furniture in or do other things, maybe with a party, that are limited with a sliding glass door. I'm gonna show you something that's a little disturbing, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is with your existing sliding glass door to break into your house. And just like that, I've broken into your house and I've taken anything I want and gotten in inside. So now we've got the door out, the sliders out. We're gonna take the framing out completely. There's wood bucks behind this as well. We're gonna take all that off and replace it 100%. We're gonna make sure the concrete is level on the bottom before we put the new door in. And we're gonna make sure this job is done properly. We use ceramic coated stainless steel screws. It's a much better system than any regular screw that goes into it. We take care of doing the job properly because we're the only company in South Florida that offers you a true 100% lifetime warranty. So the French store's in, the homeowner's happy. All the access they wanted on that back opening is now there. More importantly, the safety and security of getting rid of the sliding glass door where we can lift a panel and just break in, that's no longer an issue for them. 
So if you're ready to change your sliding doors to French doors, give us a call, 954-951-8740. Better yet, look us up on the web, usawindowsanddoors.com. Back to you, Elena. Thanks, Mike. So now let's keep things moving with dual purpose outdoor spaces. Sometimes you wouldn't think outdoor areas the home could have dual purpose, but sometimes they're part of the architectural features. We are moving right along with our tour. That's right, we are actually moving. Ralph, tell us what this is. Well, this is a, a turntable that is installed right outside the garage. And due to the narrowness of the property, we found it might be easier for the car when you're coming in and you stop at the turntable. The turntable will just guide you right to the garage itself and you can just pull in. So it's a very unusual feature, but we felt one that was much necessary in, in this residence due to the tightness of the property. Well, it really plays to the way the lot is designed and it's a genius feature, I love it. So even for maybe the best or worst of drivers, this definitely improves the comfort of getting in and out of the space. Absolutely, a press of a button, it turns you in the direction you're going and you're on your way. And that's one great way to really turn things around in the driveway. But we're gonna turn it back around to the inside of the house and take you back in where we talk about dual purpose rooms when we come back. Coming up next, we have some great dual purpose and convertible rooms on SoFlo Home Project. SoFlo Home Project is sponsored in part by Eldorado Furniture. Looking to refresh your home? Visit us online at eldoradofurniture.com or a showroom near you. Good Creek Movie and Storage, this is Shirley speaking, I can help you. I started my career in the moving and storage business more than 25 years ago. And uh, prior to that, I was a police officer in North Miami and uh, served most of my time on the SWAT team. And uh, having seen firsthand the rogue movers taking advantage of clients, I realized that uh, there was a need for honest and dependable movers. And I thought that uh, I certainly could do a much, much better job. I met some individuals that were starting a small company and uh, I got my early start with them and spent some time learning the basics about the business. But then I also wanted to add my own personal touch using my law enforcement background by way of doing background checks and drug testing and also holding uh, my people to a higher standard, uh, which led to our Superhero Movers Academy. In the Superhero Movers Academy, our candidates are going to learn everything there is to learn about being a mover, from packing boxes to loading a truck, wrapping furniture, even disassembling and reassembling furniture. But we spend a lot of time on customer service. All of our movers are trained in customer service, especially our foremen, uh, because they have to deal with the customer when it comes to the contract. Well, it's better for the customer this way because we, with full transparency, you don't have the issues that you hear about uh, with the nightmare moves. Initially, we're gonna send a certified moving consultant to your home and we're gonna perform an inventory of what's to be moved and or packed. And of course, we're gonna give you a guaranteed price in writing. Then of course, we're gonna send you trained professional movers. Again, these are candidates that have been carefully screened and they've successfully graduated from the Superhero Movers Academy. Well, by doing things the good Greek way and providing an extraordinary moving experience, the customer can uh, rest assured that uh, we're going to provide a professional service with full transparency and they can trust us. And at the end of the day, this is why we're getting customers for life. Good Greek moving is so rich. Your superhero movers. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we are continuing to share ways to maximize the square footage in your home, whether it's by having furniture that has dual purpose or a room that has two functions. There are great ways to really make a room in your home that perhaps would get seldom use, full use all the time. One of those rooms, for example, might be your guest bedroom, or perhaps you want a home theater, but don't necessarily have the space to solely dedicate that to just that room. Check out these great ideas of ways to make certain rooms in your home have two different purposes. 
So this room was to serve as a theater room, as well as an office. And we've got a little bar here. We have so a little bar. Full correct. on entertainment, and when not entertaining, work. Correct. I love that. It really worked well because when their grandchildren come, they could sit, they could enjoy, watch a movie. It becomes like a family uh, social room. And now we've got a lot of natural elements throughout, so we're not ignoring our biophilic theme. Correct. I see a lot <laughs> of crystals and things that allude to water on the wall. Yes. Behind his desk is a Philip Jeffries wallpaper. I love loved it because the movement in the wallpaper kind of reminded me of water. And, and it has a subtle sheen too. It does, picks up. right? That wallpaper was kind of the grounding point for all these colors so working you well started together. with this, exactly. correct? Exactly. Okay, so to our viewers, when you're thinking about kind of getting this whole look of the room together, pick that one central piece, whether it's a wall covering a fabric, a furniture right, and, and, and it's like a wedding. Think of a bride. You have one main focal point, and then you have the bridesmaids, so they're like the fill-ins. This area consists of two towers, so in this area is only for our guests. Uh, so this is for hanging clothes, and then you have your drawers to organize your clothes if you're traveling. Perfect. So, so just like a hotel setup, you can right. You're not everything. here for a month. <laughs> okay. This is the short stay Two, three closet. Days is perfect. Yeah. So just this the right is, amount you know, of space. So here's for storage. We really don't. Uh, do much work here, but uh, and then printer, you have the file, printer, everything. and all that stuff so, in here. So yeah, so again, all those things, I mean, it's super functional, the way that we keep trays. our things. It's good extra storage for flexible storage for yes. wherever you need it. This area of the dresser, uh, also you have three drawers, no handles, pull yep, from the no bottom. Hand will, right. will we find a handle anywhere in this house? <laughs> no. Uh, probably not. <laughs> so behind here we have, uh, there's just a door also, there's a speaker, there's a uh, sound bar. And it adds another decorative element. Right. So now this fully closes off. Right, so you do have this little door that opens up, which pulls the, the drapery to enclose this entire room, it gives okay. you soundproof. And so the, the also the material that we selected for the drapery, it's a, it's a heavy material that you don't need to line it with the blackout or it's anything. It's a double-sided so, as right, well. Right, so it's already uh, heavy enough that gives you uh, a sense of privacy. So when it comes to truly maximizing your space, those were some amazing examples. And there are so many more, so we hope that keeps you inspired. But we are not done yet with giving you ways to maximize the square footage in your home. When we come back, we are gonna show you some ways to combine both your bathroom and your closet. Next, we have an open concept space that will change the way you look at closet and bath design on SoFlo Home Project. back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we are continuing to share ways with you on how to increase the square footage of your home. Not by building more but by maximizing the dual function of a specific room in your home. Well we have one really great way to combine the closets and the bathroom. Something you don't see done very often and this is an amazing inspiration to bring those two spaces together. This space, it was in fact two spaces in one. The entrance was located in this area and you will enter to the closet and bathroom area through here and a wall will divide through the middle both spaces. So, so we will, you will enter, exactly, it will be like a very, very, very long bathroom and then you will enter through here to a dark, dark closet. Labyrinthic, I will call it, because I, I remember and it was a natural light coming through and why have it so dark? I wanted this space to be floated with natural light. You have this gorgeous curved mirror light fixture and then the vanity below. Yes. How did you come up with this concept? Because it's, <laughs> well, wonderful. It was, it was a, well, if we had challenges in the other spaces, this was the master of the challenges. When we united both areas, we end up with a really long space and we will be entering from a sideways. 
guests. I always want the Fisher to welcome you as you enter to a space. Absolutely. And this was not the case. It was very difficult. What did you do? Well, we had to design it. So we it's had custom. to design it. Yes, we had to do it. It's an, an incredible piece because when you see it, at first it's sculptural and also it serves as great light. And it's all, is this all LED lighting that's throughout? Yes, it had to serve for me. It had to serve a purpose. Wasn't that just beautiful? I mean, when you think about combining a bathroom and a closet area and getting one incredible floor plan and beautiful materials as well, it's such a great way to bring those two spaces together. And I hope that you got a lot of inspiration throughout the entire episode of ways to make a dual purpose room in your own home and maximize that square footage. And now let's take a look at what design inspiration we have planned for you next week on SoFlo Home Project. Next week on SoFlo Home Project, when you find your dream location, but the home is not so dreamy, it's time to renovate. See how this 1950s home was completely updated with a cool retro glam look. And before we go, let's check in with Hunter Frankie, the host of SoFlo Health, and see what he's got going on tomorrow. Hunter, what's up? Hey there, Elena. I'm out on a lake, pedal boating around, enjoying the beautiful weather and getting kind of a workout in while I pedal along. Plus, we've got our usual ways to get and stay healthy tomorrow on SoFlow Health on the one and only Local 10 at 1230. Thanks, Hunter. We will definitely be watching. And to our viewers, we hope that you enjoyed this week's show. And we hope to see you again next week for another all-new episode of SoFlow Home Project right here on Local 10. And remember, there's no place like SoFlow Home. If you missed any part of this episode, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloShows.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media on Facebook and Instagram. 